Tonight, I'm wearing my training bra. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> because it still fits. Seriously. Even a decade and some years after junior high, when we were all so young and stupid. It's a comforting constriction. And my friend Tom, he still wears the same belt that he wore in ninth grade too. One of those leather braided ones that the geeks used to wear with their pleated khakis. Man, I had a crush on like half of them. <laughs> Imagining one of them seeing me just my training room. Locked away in his parents' bathroom, the hot water running, no one could hear our naked giggling, and I'm still waiting for the shock that you killed yourself to go away and evaporate off the bathroom mirror. It takes forever for it to fade. Because suddenly I'm noticing that every song I hear is about death. It's weird. I mean, it's bizarre. I hear Dream Lover, I think suicide because I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, about you and what you did to yourself last week. And all I can do is, is cope by, by going to the gym and jogging on a Nordic track, listening to 90s pop. But all that really does is take me back to the VH1 music videos. We used to watch them all night in the dark where the TV would glow on the wall, those greenish flashes and reflect on their faces that awful peak and blue, but we didn't care about what we looked like. I mean, we were kids. Our biggest fear for the whole summer was finding a dead body in the woods after watching Stand By Me, and I mean, duh, that's stupid. I'm not gonna find a dead body. That's what you do. And even though it wasn't me who found you, I can still picture exactly where it happened, right at the top of your stairs, where it was only last week. I was playing with your dog and, and making him bark, and he was waking up everybody in the house, and I didn't want to bother you, so I took him outside, started thinking about those 90s bands, like the Smashing Pumpkins and Billy Corgan, oh, and that new band you started, which was a really stupid thing to do. What you did was a really fucking stupid thing to do, and I'm sorry that I'm so mad at you, and I'm just trying to make the memory of the last time I ever saw you alive in your house last as long as I can make it. Long lasting like fabric. Stretched out material of an old training rod that still fits your old belt from ninth grade wrapped around your skinny little waist. So I haven't watched music videos for a really long time. It's probably because I don't really like current pop music. And honestly, I don't like the way the TV glows, faces in the dark, peaked blue cheeks, because not caring is a hell of a lot different than what carefree was when we were kids. And honestly, I don't even know if those music videos were even good or bad or cheesy or classic. Nothing will ever be the same as being young and stupid again when young. But we still had 90 years to go, and those little bodies we just don't fit right into. It's stupid. It was learning to grow out of our fears before we did something stupid.
California. I'm so far from the Great Lake effects that when I feel the floor shake, I think it's an earthquake. And then I think it's you. But then I realize it's the dryer, making the blankets warm. Two seconds before now, and now you're gone, slipped out under the door. I'm still trying to figure out how ghosts work. I talk to you during 3 a.m., listening for the way your voice croons just when you talk. Last night, I swear, I felt your hand on my shoulder as I wiped down telegraph against freezing wind. I suddenly felt warm. This soup, maybe the last meal we'll ever share. And if it comes down to next times or when I die, I'll see you again. Then let's at least keep this for as long as it lasts. Let's go into the snow where everything looks the same, ghosts and shadows of people. And let's stand here at 90 degrees at the bottom of the earth to see if gravity can hold me down. Because lately, I've been standing with my arms in the air, hoping that a rope would come down and you'd pull me up. I want to leave the ground. I want to leave this place because this hurts so fucking much. I'm starting to forget what it feels like not to hurt, like when you're so hungry that you forget what distraction feels like, and all you feel you're doing is going crazy. I'll stand here and deny the fact that days have passed since you hit your head on the pavement of brain hemorrhage. It broke you. A clumsy slip. Now, you've implied that ghosts don't eat soup. And I haven't, <laughs> and I haven't eaten since you became a ghost. You also taught me that poets talk too much. <laughs> about love and about grief. But I loved you, and now I miss you, and I hope the soup says it all. Two full bowls, maybe in this light, we'll both look the same for a second. Now, I'm not going to die for a long time. I'm holding out to write the poems you never wrote down. Just talk to me. I'm listening. I set the table. Please, Rain, join me one last time. Do something ghosts don't normally do. Show me how to live. <laughs>